Right, well, if ever there was a reason for looking after your guns, look at this. Shouldn't happen to a BSA. Right, what's the story behind this one? Pellet stuck in the barrel. So, someone obtained this and thought, yeah, I'll try and fire it. Um, it's got virtually no air in it, though, so of course the pellet got stuck in the barrel. So what did they do? Oh, that was weird. I'll rack the bolt and, and try again. Only the magazine was in there, and yet, you guessed it, another pellet went in that we know about. There may be more. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to be fun. So who wants to play some bets? How many pellets are going to come out of this barrel? Plunk it on a box. Let's have a look. Brass. Cleaning rod. Brass. Everybody. Before anybody goes, Oh, you're sticking metal up the barrel. You're going to damage it. Brass is softer than steel. Okay. We're in. Notice there's no magazine in. So, well, we've hit already. So it's stuck there. So yeah, it's literally probed, gone a little way. And there we go. Well, that, I reckon that's more than two. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, and there's more in there. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah. If ever you get a pellet stuck, just stop. Don't try and shoot it out with another pellet or think, oh, that was weird, what happened there? And no, you probably didn't just get it straight through the same hole as the other one. Um, yeah, this causes problems. You couldn't make it up, could you? Anyway. Method is, for me anyway, tap your brass cleaning rod down in using a copper hammer. Just keep tapping it in and basically the thread goes into the lead. Get it to a point where you can then pull it out. And as you can see, I've had to do that a fair few times. I think that one, I've got to be at least four pellets. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, I can't count that as a full one. It looks like I fired a full magazine through it and got every single pellet stuck. Now the gun won't cock. Well, it wasn't cocking before, but now it definitely won't cock. So, problems. Fun, fun, fun. One thing I do wonder about, if I put a bit of air in it, because it's virtually empty, that might be why the mechanism's not cocking. i no experience with BSA Ultra SEs, and someone's going to say, Hey, we're going to it. Well, what's the fun in that? You notice I took the muddy off, and it's so rusted that this boss here is completely seized on. So, deep joy. Meant to say earlier, by the way, put the gun on safe when you're messing with it. You know, I had it on safe while I was messing with it, okay? So, anyway, fill a cap. Oh. Oh, poop. There's a surprise. It's seized. Bit of penetrating oil and uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. Slightly out of sequence. A lot of people hate on WD-40. It works. Yep, it definitely works. By the way, oh, BSA, this um, probe system. I, I, I don't like it because the probe just feels so slack in there. I'm terrified of it coming out. It didn't, but yeah, it, it, it's scary. It's it's quite scary actually. I don't I, I don't like it. So after I put air in it, it still wouldn't fire. Can you spot the reason why? Pop it in the comments if you can. I'm guessing a few of you BSA devotees are uh, going to be wishing I took it out to the range and given it a test shot. Uh, yeah, the owners of the range are on holiday at the moment, so I can't get on it. Bit of a bummer, and it's got to go back to the owners. Um, look, it's a nice gun. A mate of mine's got one, and, and that's a good bit of kit. Just look after your guns, peeps. If you get a pellet stuck, just stop. If you think a pellet's stuck, stop. Always have a cleaning rod with you, so as you can check down, make sure the bore's clear, if you're ever in doubt. And also, with the way I'd use to get the pellets out, 
it's a good meaty barrel on a BSA. It's one of the reasons I like. I do like a BSA. Good meaty barrel. Don't use my method on something like a PR900W, Air Arms S400, probably a 510 because I think they're a skinny barrel in a shroud. Only do it where you've got a good, thick, chunky um, barrel because I like a nice, thick barrel. Yeah, only do it then because I reckon something like a PR900W or a maybe S400, S410, I think you could bulge the barrel doing it. So just be careful, use your noggin, good luck.